Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic. Today I'm here to do a flip through of my Go Wild Ring Notebook. I use this in preparation and during Go Wild. Go Wild is a planner conference. Every year it moves to a different city. This year and last year there were about 1,400, 1,300 of us. And we have a conference where there are speakers, there are workshops, and you get to have um, an open bar, some karaoke, and just some a fun get together for planner girls. And it was a great vacation spot this year because it was in Las Vegas. Last year it was in Austin. I live in Austin and so it was really easy for me to go and I had a blast and I went this year as well obviously. Um, I hope to go next year it just really depends on what's going on with my family and my life. Um, it's just so far and you know ahead that I don't quite know but if it's somewhere that I'd like to see or somewhere I'd like to take my family to I would definitely go again. So to start off with, I used the personal wide rings. Last year I used B6TN. I really did like the personal wide rings better this year because when I opened it to take notes, it laid flat the entire time. Um, but I'm not a big fan of personal wide rings in general. It's just not my size and I really don't like how it feels. Like I don't like when I hold it like this, this indention because of the rings. I like a more solid and sturdy notebook to write in and I couldn't make it sturdier so it's just not really my cup of tea. And since it's not, it's easy for me to keep everything together and just leave it like this for me to revisit when I want to and or for next year if I need it. So to start off, I have the Go Wild clip that I used last year and I just moved it over for this year. This personal wide rings is from Foxy Fix. I got it in a mystery sale because I was trying to kind of try out personal wide rings to see if I was interested. So when I open it up, the first thing I have in these little pockets here are die cuts. I use these die cuts as placeholders for various things, um, kind of almost like mini bookmarks. There's so much going on at Go Wild. There's so much that's given out. There's stuff everywhere. And sometimes I kind of use this as a kind of like sorting this pile, this pile. And so it's kind of unconventional, but it lets me, it's my own little system. Also in the pockets, this was my contact card that I gave out this year um, for Go Wild. It has my uh, blog, which is a book blog. It has my YouTube, which for now mostly has planner, plan with me's, and then I have my Instagram, which has some book and mostly planner things. Um, and then another die cut. I think this was given out and go wild and I must have stuck it in here so that I wouldn't lose it. These were uh, things that I think I bought last year and I didn't use. So I stuck it in there hoping to use them this year and I forgot about them. So obviously I did not use them. I will stick them in there again next year and maybe I'll remember to use it. What I wanted to do was put pictures on them or like uh, sticker dolls and write some some memorable things, things I was grateful for and I just completely forgot. Next year I think I kind of want to make like a kind of a, a list in the front saying what I want to do with it so that I don't forget my intentions. Um, and then this came from my Happy Scrappy subscription. I laminated it and stuck it in here because I was trying to make it more sturdy. This was a postcard that came with my Chrissy Ann Designs order from last year. Again, stuck it in here. And then this postcard here was something that I wrote during um, Cindy's session at Go Wild and I just stuck in there as a reminder. So moving on to the actual notebook, one of the things that I do when I am um, putting together this notebook, of course, is I like to print out the schedule and laminate it so I can keep track with what's coming up and make plans accordingly. Last year, we also had a menu ahead of time for snacks and breaks and things. And so I um, had it on the back this year that wasn't provided to us. So it's just a blank back. Um, I have dividers. All of my dividers are from the digital box from Planner Press. I just took some lamin um, lamination sheets, laminated them, and um, 
just kind of put these at the top and then I put some uh, vinyl on the bottom um, and this is a holo vinyl that I just used my Cricut for. This calendar that's for May is from um, Nubian Rock Chick. I got, I have the whole year and I just decided to stick the May one in here. I um, have some Go Wild Thelum. This is, f it's a folder that I put together. Um, so this is the front of the folder. I put it in a pocket from Simply Gilded stuck some die cuts and more of some stickers that I bought last year hoping to use that I did not use and I accidentally like I didn't realize when I did this that this was supposed to be like a like a open circle and I laminated it closed so I just ended up that way. I foiled these fo folders with my mink that we got as swag last year. Um, I had so much fun and believe it or not, it was my favorite um, swag from last year, but I didn't open it once until I was getting ready to put together my notebook for Go Wild this year. So yeah, <laughs> and some stickers that I bought, um, most of these I bought this year. I put it in this folder so that they could be easy to find when I needed them for my spreads and I hope to use them again the next time I go to Go Wild, either next year or in the future. These are some general stickers that I figured I could use in multiple different spreads in preparation for Go Wild, but since I put it in this notebook, I forgot about it um, because I really didn't use this notebook until I got to Go Wild. Um, so I'll use it next year or next time or I'm sure I can find uses of these other than for uh, Go Wild. Some date covers and date dots that I bought um, in case I needed them, but I ended up, all the kits that I got ended up coming with date covers, so I didn't need the extras, and I'll just use them next time. This pocket is again from Simply Gilded, and then this die cut, I don't remember where it's from, but I think it's from Sugary Gal shop um, and then another um, divider and then I printed out I had uh, this printable um, from any plans and so I printed it out and put it in here because I wanted to keep track of everything I actually did so that I could move it over for memory split spread um, for playing with me when I got back. So that's what I use this for. Um, so not a lot here. Um, the Go Wild ticket is pretty, I would say it's pretty expensive and uh, it's, it's a little over $500 after ticketing fees. And it's really funny because, oh, I wrote a little note for me to remember for next year. And that was, um, to have an organization system in mind. And this I did this year and it worked really well. So I took like sticker books and I took pouches and I took just, just a few so that when I got ready to pack up coming back, I organized my swag before I left to make sure that it made it back safely um, and that I had enough room. Um, and these are the things that I forgot and didn't have in preparation for Go Wild. And note, I said snacks. I, the table I sat at had snacks provided um, by the table sponsor and it was like the best idea ever. Um, so I just used this to keep track of um, I just realized some of this stuff is kind of personal. Um, to keep track of just basically what I did so that I could do my plan with me's. This is from Happy Scrappy. I stuck this in here. I didn't have a plan for it. When I stuck it in here, it was just kind of a just in case and I didn't end up using it because I didn't have a plan for it. And I'll just use it in something else later. Um, this came in an order. So it was just a postcard. So I laminated it and made a washi card. This pen came from, that's, up. This pen came from a Happy Scrappy subscription. Hold on a bit. Okay, I'm back. I have to hurry because Jacob wants me to go hang out with him. So I did a um, 
what do you what do we call these gosh I'm just my brain is just not working this is a washi dashboard yes so I did a washi dashboard I loved this then another divider I ordered this wild days insert from light splinter action and then I had this again I was playing with the mink and just trying to figure things out and I just tried to foil it and it worked and I just fell in love so much so now I'm like foiling everything look at this can you can see on camera like look how pretty this is so um and then I just used markers and I basically put in the schedule and I took notes and this was the primary thing that I used during this primary place that I used during Go Wild and so what I did was I took paper clips and I marked my place and just kind of took notes and when I was bored because there were times when my attention span was rather short I would just color so it was really good and then this was a handout and I saved this and paper clipped it and just kind of and then next year I think I kind of want to instead of hoarding some of the things that they give out like Teresa Collins gave out a, some washi I wish I would have just put a little swatch of it here as a reminder so instead of just kind of holding onto this sheet just kind of use it a little bit I'm such a hoarder I need to do better um and then there's like these uh, reflection days that I used um I don't want to flip through all of it because I don't want to accidentally show like some personal things like I did before and then I took some notes um basically here I I went to the Michaels make session where uh shops were pitching their ideas and all I did was write down the shop name and then I just put a check mark next to whatever proposal they had if I would buy it like if I was like oh this is a good idea and I was very happy because um it's that business, you know, I have a business degree and so I'm always kind of like testing my skills and my perception of like, you know, how in tune am I, you know, to maybe others and their business sense. And so I checkmarked six shops and um, four of the six that I checkmarked were selected. And so I, you know, I don't know, I felt a little proud there, but I have to say that those shops were so bright. That was a very difficult thing to do and they all had great ideas I think for me when I was looking it was kind of like what can translate in a mass like a mass market and some of them just seemed like it would be more work than others and I think some of those shops if they pitched next year and kind of you know you know it seemed kind of like man five minutes is like not enough time so I'm sure we'll be seeing some of those other shops in Michaels in the future as well so another washi I'm uh, not washi vellum I made this dashboard on Kava is it Kava or Canva I don't remember but I think I had it in another notebook and I just moved it over because I have to have Jacob somewhere like I just have to especially because this year I was going to Vegas without him and then I um yes put you know dashboard same thing just different pictures another divider um I another insert I foiled this as well I used a few pages I'm not gonna flip through this it was more of my reflection part of what I usually do on my reflection um, notebook and this was more of me talking about what I was grateful for and what I learned and things like that and this is private so I'm not gonna flip through it that's Jacob if you can hear it if you can hear it that's Jacob I always always think if I don't move and don't breathe he'll like stop or go to sleep and it never works um then let's see oops I said I wasn't gonna show that oops good thing I skipped a couple pages when I started another uh, washi dashboard oh I skipped the vellum so I foil the back I can use there's a lot of blank in these because I only used like a week's worth in here and I think I might use this when I'm traveling in general so this, this this worked out really well for me vellum washi dashboard um more pictures that just bring me joy and this was my first attempt at foiling so there's some scratches and things like that and I learned while coloring for when I'm bored I hate to say like bored when 
go wild is not boring, but it's just, it can be a little much. I made another uh, folder out of some papers that I had, some from Happy Scrappy and some from, um, I think this is from the Planner Society. And so here we have countdown stickers that I did not use. We have some stickers that I bought here, but this is a more general, um, I use some of these and I'll just keep taking them every year and find uses for, I mean, that is the life of a crafter and planner girl. You always have extras and things you intend to use, but you don't. This is that entire kit that I got from Happy Scrappy and I didn't use any of it. I just put it here just in case I did. I'll probably take the whole thing and put it in my collection to use later on. And then this is a dashboard that I put a pin loop on. And these are like samplers that I carry with me everywhere. I took this out of my notebook from last year as is, and I'll probably just keep transporting it over. Um, oops. This was a coupon code that's already expired. So no harm in putting it on camera more pictures. Um, I printed out my ticket for Michael's, Michael's Make. Oh no, this is my Go Wild ticket, but I do have my ticket for Michael's Make in here somewhere too. So I cut it and laminated it. And then this, these are the countdown stickers from last year that I didn't use. And then again, this year I didn't use them. And then I will, I, I promise you, I fully intend if I go next year or the year after or whenever, I fully intend to buy more countdown stickers. It's just what I do. I added this paper clip um, because my husband and I went to um, a Prince tribute show while we were in Vegas. It was a good show. I was surprised. I'm more of a, I'm not as much of a Prince fan, but I can appreciate the artist. Um, so I use this, I, I actually love this little uh, personal addition to this notebook. And then let's see. Here are like, in here I kept my uh, airplane, what do you call it when you, your tickets, like when you have to, I don't know, boarding pass. So in here are boarding passes and things like that. So very simple. I don't have like this really put together <laughs> notebook, but this notebook was really supposed to be, this is the things I have if I need it, if I, my mind's wandering and I want a color, here it is. If I need somewhere to keep track of what happened, what I did, names, here it is. I intended to put some pictures and it's not too late, but I know me. I know that at this time, I'm probably not gonna go back and print out and put pictures in here, but I hope to learn from this for next year to do it as I go while I'm at Go Wild. Um, I have some few thoughts about Go Wild. Lots of people say, is it worth it? Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say very short and sweet. It depends on why you're going. People say, don't go, you know what? Okay, they say, what do they say? They say that you don't go for the swag. And then other people are like, there's no way you would go if it wasn't for the swag. And would you go if there was no swag? If people, and if everyone says over and over and over and over again that do, they don't go for the swag, what I would do if you're trying to make a decision is read between the lines. You really don't go for the swag and if you go for the swag, you're gonna be disappointed. The swag is probably worth more than the ticket price, but I don't think it's worth more than the airplane and hotel and food and all of that. But also, I mean, you know, you just wanna be respectful to all the people who give and donate and things like that. But if people are saying don't go for the swag, then I would just read between the lines and do that. I love the swag. It's really exciting to and fun to see what comes in. And when I think about last year and this year, I think to myself, let's see, how do they compare? I think last year had more swag, like probably double, but there was a lot of repetition. I mean, you can only, you know, it's great to get five planners for the for the year that you're already halfway through. Um, and it was great for me to see the different ones and it, it gave me informed, um, 
information for decisions for the following year, but you really can't use all use all of that when it's just different brands of the same thing. This year was less swag, but all of it you could use. There was less of like giving away of swag compared to last year. Um, there were more swag donations from small shops and I think that's probably um, for the best because those are actually, I think you're more likely to use those things because it kind of matches a lot of what's around the community and what we, what I personally currently use. Um, I feel like this year there wasn't like a big ticket item like last year. Last year we got that mink and it was such a surprise. It was amazing and it was something I didn't have. It wasn't on my radar. This year there were a lot, there wasn't a big ticket item, but there was some really amazing washi. If you're a washi fan, I just got, ooh, you know what? I have some right here. So I got this, oops. And I'm not showing all my swag because I kind of feel like there's just something about that, about bragging about free stuff. But I did want to show this Go Wild Washi right here. So I, it's from the shop is Cookie Sticker Co. Um, and I, I'm seeing this right now and I'm like, ooh, I want that washi. Um, this, just the, how creative and just how different some of the swag was from the smaller shops it was really nice. Like I really, like I'm going to use this. Um, so it was more like washi was a big, big thing um, for swag this year. Um, making planner friends. So I told my husband that I didn't really know people and that's not why I was going. And then I got there and like knew all these people and said hi and gave hugs and spent so much time catching up with people that I just, I guess I didn't realize how many friends and I didn't realize how connected into the community I actually was because it didn't feel like it. It didn't feel like I'm talking to these ladies or uh, folks on a daily basis it did, but man I do I saw I see them in the year and I know who they are and I'm not as shy the second time around like are they best friends no because that that's not who I am yeah, I I'm, I'm not as trusting as the next person so it takes time to you know for me to trust and get there but are we closer after the second year absolutely and what I want to see you know Gosh, yes, I, I, I would. Um, I do believe that Austin was more fun for me than Vegas, but I think mostly it's because Vegas itself was a distraction. So during downtime, there was just less planner girls hanging out in the lobby, just, you know, jamming in our planners and just talking and meeting and all that. Because Vegas was such a draw, when we had downtown, downtime, a lot of people saw Vegas and did Vegas and, you know, experienced that. And, and I think that if the location next year is like Orlando or somewhere else like that, it's going to be kind of the same feel of like people are going for this amazing conference, but it's also in a great city that you want to see anyway. So, I mean, if it's in Orlando next year or a city that I can take my family, I will take my whole family and it will be very much like this year. And I like that. I like you know, making a vacation out of it, especially since I'm already spending the money, might as well just, you know, add a couple hundred bucks and take my family and, you know, have some family time. But that's just me. I stayed in Vegas from Wednesday, go while in it Sunday, and I stayed until Monday night. So I was there for quite a bit. I got very sick, and which is why I never actually got to finish this. Well, I gosh, I had some health issues before I go wild in Vegas. And then I got sick with that double ear infection and all that stuff when I came back. So I'm rambling now. So I'm going to wrap this up. And so I just wanted to share my thoughts about go wild, show you the notebook. And hopefully if I go next year, my notebook will be even more t together. And each year I will improve and get better and be happy. Um, but I personally love the process. I don't expect perfection, but I do love the process of putting it together. And when I don't quite get 
have time to finish the way I want. I love the idea of being like, hmm, let's see what I do next year. So um, that's it. Definitely longer than I planned. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. Um, that's it. Oh, and I also, one of my, I took out one of my um, pin loops, but my, I did have my Villa Beautiful Go Wild pin in here. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.